Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel These52 that is all about DIY electronics projects with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP8266 and other popular boards. In today's tutorial, we will make a digital protector using MPU6050 in Arduino. Here a servo is used to display the angle on a protector image. Servo motor shaft it attached with a wire or needle which will rotate our protector image to indicate the angle which is also displayed on 16 cross 2 LCD display. So before going into details, let's learn about the gyroscope sensor. This MPU6050 accelerometer and gyroscopic sensor module is a micro electro mechanical system MEMS. This MPU6050 accelerometer and gyroscopic sensor module is a micro electrical mechanical system that is MEMS which consists of a 3 axis accelerometer and 3 axis gyroscope inside it. It also has temperature sensor. It can measure acceleration, velocity, orientation, displacement and temperature. It can operate at 3 to 5 fold power supply and it has an I2C protocol communication. So here is the pen diagram. So other than MPU6050 module, you will need an Arduino Uno with USB cable, 16 cross 2 LCD display, 10K potentiometer, HG90 servo motor, some male to male jumper wires, and a breadboard, and a protector image. You can purchase all these items from our website d52.com and the link given in the description. So let's start. This is the circuit diagram. Let's make it. So first of all, connect VCC and the ground pin of Arduino Uno with the breadboard for making further VCC and ground connections. Now connect VSS pin of LCD to the ground rail on the breadboard. Now connect VDD pin of LCD to the positive rail on the breadboard. Now attach a 10K potentiometer with the breadboard. Connect the V0 pin of the LCD with the middle pin that is the data pin of potentiometer. Now connect the first pin of 10K potentiometer with the positive rail on the breadboard. And the third pin with the ground rail on the breadboard. You can connect VCC and ground on either first or third terminal of potentiometer. It is variable register which has no polarity. So by default ground pin has 0 ohm value and VCC pin has 10 kilo ohm value. Now connect RS pin of LCD with the digital 12 pin of Arduino Uno. Then connect the RW pin with the ground rail on the breadboard. Connect E pin that is the enable pin with the digital pin 11 of the Arduino Uno. Now connect the D4 pin of LCD with the D7 pin of Arduino Uno. Connect the D5 pin of LCD with the D6 pin of Uno. After that, connect the D6 pin with the D5 pin of Arduino Uno. Then connect the D7 pin with the D4 pin of Arduino Uno. Now connect the anode pin with the positive rail on the breadboard. Then connect the cathode pin with the negative rail on the breadboard. Now attach 
the MPU6050 gyroscope module with the breadboard. Connect the VCC pin of MPU6050 module with the positive rail on the breadboard. Then connect the ground pin of MPU6050 with the negative rail on the breadboard. Now connect the SCL pin with the A5 pin of Arduino Uno. In the last connect SDA pin with the analog 4 pin of Arduino Uno. Now connect servo motor. So connect the brown wire that is the ground wire of servo motor with the ground rail on the breadboard. Now connect the red wire that is the positive supply wire to the VCC rail on the breadboard. Then connect the orange wire that is a signal wire with the digital pin 9 of Arduino Uno. So as you can see the circuit is completed. Now let's make a protector. So this is a protector image. We have added a servo motor along with this and its shaft is projected on protector image indicating the angle of inclined MPU6050 which will move according to the servo's directional rotation. It has set at 180 degree angle because the MPU6050 module will be placed on surface that is the basic 180 degree angle. And the programming is for this code is quite simple. So let's see it. This is the complete code. First include all the libraries given here like servo motor for using servo LCD crystal that is liquid crystal library for LCD in the wire library for I2C communication and the MPU6050 uses I2C communication and hence it must be connected only to the I2C pin of Arduino. So wire.h library is used to establish communication between Arduino and MPU6050. So for demo we will include the MPU6050 library. You can download it from the given link or you can download it from github. Now after downloading it click to the sketch then include library then click to add.zip library. You can include it library from the folder where it downloaded. So the library has been added. Now upload the code. So the code is completely uploaded. So now according to the orientation of the MPU6050 module, we will see the inclination angle on LCD as well servo motor along with protector image. Right now it is placed on surface so it is showing around 180 degree. So let's move in different angle. So as you can see LCD is showing 150 then you can check the same angle in protector image also. So let's move in different angle. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. Subscribe our channel to get more video updates. Thank you.